Hello, my name is Jaromir and today I'll show you how to hydrate your WS2016 lab. So first thing you have to do is to visit uh, WS2016 lab page on the GitHub and then scroll down and take a look on the how to and click on scripts. This is the link that will uh, download the zip file. You can just hit open and unzip this into the empty directory. like this one. These scripts, as you can see, are the same ones as are located in this folder and the link was uh, hitting this script zip file. So, the next thing you, ne you need is Windows Server 2016. So let me open up this link. This is uh, linking into the Evaluation Center where you can select ISO file You will just fill in your uh, first name, last day, last name, company name, and so on, and then you will be able to download uh, uh, 2016 server evaluation version. You can also use MSDN if you have MSDN subscription. You, you can also download latest cumulative update and servicing stack update from the Windows cut Windows update catalog. As you can see. Uh, here is the list of the updates, cumulative updates, but you need only the latest one. And note that uh, notice that this one is 1709. So we need this one because we need server 2016 RTM. So download this file and also optionally you can download servicing stack update. Servicing stack update is there just to update the servicing stack which is uh, necessary for updating server from the WSAS. Otherwise you would not be able to find uh, any updates. So that one is necessary. So after you have files downloaded in somewhere, you can just uh, right click prerequisites, uh, prerequisites uh, uh, PS1 and select the run with PowerShell. After clicking open you will see UAC prompt and I will just move this window so you can see it with me. Uh, it's now downloading some files from internet. If your machine is not connected to the internet it will throw error. So just run this script somewhere where you have internet connection and then if you need to move it somewhere else just copy the folder and run the script uh, prerequisites again. It will uh, look into the folders if the tools are, are already there. If the tools are already there uh, it will be reused and uh, it will not download anything. You can notice that here will be downloaded the DSE modules that are necessary for the domain controller hydration. Uh, here is tool VHD where you can place anything you want and these tools will be then um, the, 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 there will be tools VHD created and the tool VHD is uh, by default mounted into the domain controller and also if you will say so like um, I think there is a variable in in lab config called uh, tools VHD and if you say uh, tools VHD equals true then uh, the tools VHD will be added but I will describe lab config in a different video so there is also there are also these two scripts which are new. Um, this one, if you run with PowerShell, it will help you create a new parent VHD. So you can create this way 2012 R2 or 2016 with a GUI uh, parent VHD. It will just uh, use uh, this convert Windows image, uh, but you don't have to type almost anything. As you can see, the prerequisites took. 1.6 minutes. It's just downloading some tools and creating folders. Um, if you would copy it somewhere else, just run this prereq as again. It's, it will not harm anything. Uh, it will just run, check if everything is there, and as you can see, it found everything, so it was not uh, going into the internet at all. Then the next step will be right-click on the create parent disks. Um, I made it easy, so here are numbers 1 to 3. So this is the second script we are 
now running um, it will ask you for the ISO image so based on the lab config uh, it realized that uh, you need just uh, Windows Server 2016 so it will ask you just for Windows Server 2016 uh, the description is just give me some ISO image so let's uh, go somewhere oh not RSAT but RTM you can even use MSDN or evaluation it's up to you I will use MSDN and now it will ask you for MSU and I have it somewhere here so I have cumulative update here this one 1.2 gigabytes and then servicing stack update and this is it it will now take around one hour so I'll pause the recording and get back uh, when the script will finish uh, so the script just finished uh, as you can see it took like 86 minutes so before it will close the window it will ask you do you want to uh, clean up unnecessary files and folders actually it, let's take a look what happened here uh, there was a folder called lab created and inside it there is a DC uh, maybe you spot it but if you would open up the Hyper-V manager there would be one machine called DC uh, you can see the DC machine is stored in these folders virtual hard disk virtual machines there's a config file and also there is a backup of these virtual machines in the zip file because what the script does it will create the uh, DC it will basically copy their uh, desired state configuration files and configuration as you can see here you will just start it up start up the machine and wait for a finish then it, what it will do it will clean up uh, the DC from the host but before that it will back up the, uh, this machine config and that it will unzip it there back again so during the deploy you can just import this DC rename it and continue with other VMs as specified in the lab config because uh, these first two scripts are not no longer uh, needed uh, prereq and create parent disks and also uh, you don't need tools VHD folder anymore and also uh, uh, DSC folder is not needed you can uh, you can clean it up by specifying yes here so as you can see uh, it was cleaned up and the only thing you have is um, tools disk here so basically it contains everything you had in the tools VHD folder then there is a core and nano server um, VHD Y nano server because it's really fun and really fast for the labs itself so if you for example would like to have a lab really fast you can just use the nano server itself and this way you can deploy anything in you know much less time because the boot up is actually around 10 seconds instead of like 30 40 seconds